Time to say goodbye on the boat 91. We did the voiceovers during a storm, so there is some background noise. Like most people this year, we've been stuck in one spot. But it could have been worse. The Carter's quite a big, sprawling town. Although the marina isn't that huge, we've been made welcome and we've had a few laughs as well. A classic Italian parking, Sicilian parking. And when I say the marina's not big, well it is big, but there's not an awful lot of berths. And we've had to put up with the cement works right next to us. But some of the entertainment from the berthing ships has given us a laugh as well. Our berth in the marina is dominated by this lighthouse and the working yard behind it. The main fishing port is over to the left hand side but the town sprawls back for oh, a couple of kilometres behind the lighthouse and then of course there's the fort on the hill. The marina has three large car parks situated one on each side to the east and west and one to the north which is a public car park. There's a large promenade that goes around the outside. Quite often you'll see members of the public promenading on Saturdays and Sundays. There's the main office for the marina and the cafes, restaurants and quite a good chandlery. There's a beach over there, just coming into view now, on the east side. Unfortunately the waste ground behind it is predominantly owned by feral dogs, so you've got to be a bit careful. On the eastern side there's another toilet block and shower block and then open sea as far as, well, Tunisia in that direction. The breakwater continues round and out to sea and as you can see there's lots of space, only a few pontoons. The breakwater is quite tall but apparently a few years ago it was breached and had to be repaired. There's a fish farm near the entrance to the marina and this causes quite a lot of pollution but apparently it's lost its licence now and is going to be removed. The double inner breakwaters stop a lot of swell and it's only when we get wind from the southeast that we get, well, a bit of fetch inside. The commercial port is situated on the west side of the breakwaters. There's a cement plant there just coming into view. There's a small fishing fleet and a second marina for locals. The boatyard has a 100 tonne boat lift and they do some quite big commercial stuff there but it's extremely expensive, more expensive than back in the UK. Part of the cement works is actually derelict or not used and when they have the big ships in they unload them 24 hours a day so the west side of the marina can be quite noisy with all the big pumps and blowers going and the generators on the ships as well. There's a footpath all along the breakwater and you can walk right past the cement works and right out to the very tip. And then of course back to where our berth is. We're the second pontoon back in this photo just below the lighthouse which incidentally shines right into the town. They must have forgot to blank off the light. It can be quite picturesque, well, apart from the cement works. But then again, when the ships come in, they have to do a bit of a wiggle and a dance to get into the deep water berth next to it. You can see this one here is springing off. He's got a line from his forward port side back to one of the bollards, and he's driving against it with his wheel hard to pull. That brings the stern of the ship out. He'll then do a quick reverse and then back out to sea between the two breakwaters. They do kick up a lot of sand and silt as it's really quite shallow by the bow of this boat, probably only four or five metres at most.
It's good to see the marina and the town from above, but the best way to see it? Probably by bicycle. more holes in the road than there is road. Where are we, Cindy? <laughs> Outside the wine shop. Mm. They deliver to your boat. Uh, you send them a WhatsApp message, tell them what you want. They deliver it to your boat, and it's how much? One euro. One sixty a euro. One, uh, one sixty a litre. One, yeah, one euro sixty cents a litre, and it's gorgeous and it's local. Uh, grown in the hills behind us. Lovely. Not Dean and Linda having a tasting. They, um, they grow quite a few different grapes here. One of them is called Seneca, Seneca grape. And, uh, it's a lovely red, beautiful red. And they don't export it, they keep it local. Um, absolutely gorgeous. You're not jealous, are you? <laughs> glorious shopping does have some advantages uh, like on the way back this is the blue sky bar and all the food and hors d'oeuvres are free if you buy a beer the only thing with having a cheeky beer or a cheeky carafe of wine is well one beer usually leads to another and one carafe of wine leads to another carafe of wine and if you're not very careful you can end up having a cheeky pizza from the pizza bar next door or walking home in the dark to your burnt dinner. A classic Italian parking, Sicilian parking, great big space there. No, we're just gonna... Got the nose on the pavement, it's legal. And that's right outside the police station. Some of the parking just to make us laugh. In the UK you would not get away with parking on a zebra crossing. In fact, you can't park within 15 metres of a zebra crossing in the UK. In Sicily, if there's a space, you park. Like most marinas this year at Lakata, it's been fairly subdued and quiet. Most of the social activities that would normally go on in a winter season just haven't taken place. 
We all know why that is. However, the Liverpool community's kept themselves busy. There's been lots of maintenance and boat works going on. Before the winter lockdowns, many boat owners went back home, well, to their countries of origin. Unfortunately, they've not been able to get back to Lakata. However, things are opening up and we see more and more boat owners out on their boats, hurriedly scrubbing away the orange dust from the Sahara that blows across the Mediterranean from North Africa. And, well, we're looking forward to another good season. It's been fun staying at Lakata. I can't say it's the best marina we've ever been to, but we've been made welcome and everything seems to work as it should do, which is great. All the staff have been friendly and helpful. We managed to get deliveries before Christmas. We managed to get deliveries from the UK as well. So, can't really complain. It's been a difficult year for everyone. And now, we're just sitting, waiting for a weather window to cross the Mediterranean to North Africa and Tunisia. But that is another story. We'd just like to thank the staff and the management and the people of Sicily for making us welcome. Sicily really is one of the most beautiful places that we've ever been to. We've seen a lot of the island, its mountains, its valleys, its historic monuments. But now it's time to head out there. North Africa, Tunisia. Goodbye Lakata. We're going to miss you guys and your crazy parking. Until next time, from us on SVM Paradise, sail safe.